Okay. Finally, first thing you need to do is open the package. And then it'll be take out the, the contents. Usually on the small ones, it does give you guidelines on how to to do the the pattern on the back of the the sheet and it will give you all your colors that you get in the pa in the package plus you'll get a needle <coughs> the, cl uh, the cloth that you'll be using like I said these are small ones so that's the size cloth that you will will have and this one considers it goes on a hanger so here's the hanger that it'll be on once you get it finished and trimmed down a little bit, you'll be f folding it over on the hanger. And the last thing that you have, which actually is the most important, besides the cloth, is the plus. And then what I, how I work it is I'll open the plus up. Sometimes you can, you know, just clip the, the ex excess off and then it'll just tear it up. And I always check, make sure, and then yeah, tape them up. One other item that you might want to think of having while you're doing this is the scissors. Because that way you would be trimming the, the excess floss off, or after you've tied it off, you need to trim the, the floss. But it also comes in handy when you don't need to cut the. And then I'll end up opening up the. Flosser, the floss that you got and then I'll go through and it gives you how much and this one it just tells you the colors but then when you get into more advanced ones it usually tells you you have two, three or four strand, you know, items in the uh, strands that they carry. This one here is very easy. It just has a single strand, each one is just a single strand. When you get more complicated, usually when you buy the regular floss, it's usually six strands to the to the skein. Then you, you primarily use two, two, one, two strands of the skein for the more, more majority of the cross stitch. But when you go into back stitching and everything, it goes basically one when usually one. So that's what you have to do. And then the next item on that, in most most ways you need to find the center of the, the material. And when you go through, you fold it one way, and then just fold it back in half again. And then that will give you the point where your center of the material is. And that way you when you look at your pattern, most of the patterns when you do the back have an arrow to and it identifies the center lines of the cross stitch. Then you can go through and point and figure out where the center is. And then go from there and count out. And primarily I do counter cross stitches. So you can count out, figure out what you do.